going on dudes and dudettes? Yeah, and the video I put up on Sunday, I forgot to mention, obviously, Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. I know I made it Saturday at some point, so of course I forgot to put it in there for my sake. But yes, yeah, quick Happy Father's Day. I was able to get a couple of cool things. I got some new hair clippers, which is nice, of course, after I already cut my hair. But they look pretty cool and brand new, so I like that. And then I was also given like a three-way mirror that you can hang up on the door, which is pretty cool so I can actually see the sides because in my bathroom now I don't have a side mirror to be able to do that, but now I got basically like a 360 view, which is pretty cool. So that'll come in handy at some point whenever I decide to cut my hair. I always seem like I'm cutting my hair and then I got a pretty nice gift from my stepdaughters as well. Apparently they found this Paul Korea X duck great player bobblehead at the goodwill which is pretty crazy that somebody was dumb enough to put it there but they got it for me and obviously going to be hanging out back here with some of the other cool items i have behind me so that's pretty awesome hopefully you'll be able to see it at some point in other videos but yeah thanks to them and yeah hopefully everybody had a great father's day and we'll get into this video as of right now, so yeah, apparently the Dallas Mavericks are interested in drafting USC's Bronny James, which is pretty interesting because I don't know if that means they're going to do it in the second round or in the first round, and if that kind of entices LeBron to want to go and play for that team and not accept his free agent deal, and I don't even know if he could join that team technically, but I hear, I guess there's some point that he could get like a really cheap, like deal like at eight or ten million dollars if he really pushed to do that which would be pretty crazy to have him and Luca and Kyrie on the same team so I think it's going to be tough money wise but either way it could be interesting in the end and then there was a top 15 2026 player overall I believe his name is Jacob sorry I'm trying to find his name here Montanati and apparently in the first couple hours of like schools being able to contact the 2026 players, I believe you heard from USC. I think he eventually heard from Duke a couple of days later. But I guess you can't really offer these players a scholarship yet for some reason, even though it's technically going to be that next recruiting class. But either way, they're getting both my teams are going after the same guys. So that's always good, hopefully. He lands in one of those places, but yeah, a top 15 guy could be pretty beneficial for either recruiting class. And apparently a linebacker from the state of Georgia, Chase Taylor, had to reschedule his USC visit for today on Monday, as I'm recording this on the 17th. So yes, luckily he was still able to get his visit in. They just seem to be going after a lot of the talented players from Georgia. I'll get into another one later here but yeah it's a good thing that he was able to get that visit in so that's good to hear and then USC is still sending some love at least a lot of the players are finally still trickling in some of those graphics that I've mentioned in that video that came out on Sunday and a couple of the newer players I ended up seeing were a linebacker Talanoa Ely and a defensive end Samu Moala yeah so hopefully I'm saying those names correct but yeah, some pretty nice, talented guys. At least one of them was a local guy from Lutheran, which I think is around Orange County. So yeah, pretty good to see overall. And then they're not 2026 class. Yeah, apparently they offered another cornerback from Georgia in Shamar Arnaud. I think that's like how, uh, how you say it, because it's like a Louisiana name. But yeah, I guess apparently he is teammates of Julian Juju Lewis out there in Georgia and Carrollton at that high school and I think they were both recently on a visit to Auburn but then USC quickly offered him which is pretty cool and I think he's already trying to set up an official visit here at some point in the near future so that's good and speaking on that trip for Lewis to Auburn I think he said it was okay but he still looks like he's uh, still with USC rocking with them and 100% committed as of right now. He's just still going through the process. I think he still has to go to Colorado at some point in the next couple of weeks. But then after that, he will be officially shutting down his recruitment and hopefully just saying 
the school that he will be going to officially and signing with in December. But yeah, even though that was a big time visit, they could pretty much offer him double the money that USC is even going to be offering him in NIL stuff. It looks like he is still committed to USC, so that was pretty awesome to hear after that. Pretty big weekend for one of the top guys going to go visit somewhere else. In 2026, five-star defensive lineman Jakeem Stewart is taking another USC visit. Pretty soon after that visit he took within the last couple of months to USC, I think it's today as you're watching this on Tuesday, June 18th, and maybe it's to sign on the dotted line and make sure that USC knows that he's going to be coming into this 2025 class and all this stuff. And A lot of people thought he might be waiting until after whoever wins the USC and LSU game, but maybe it looks like USC is in the front running so far, but yeah, hoping for the best when it comes out of this situation. And then there was another player, the four-star offensive tackle Jackson Lloyd is going to be committing tomorrow as well, June 18th, with USC still in the running, but even as you see from that picture that they posted up with on three, he is wearing like a bunch of Ohio State stuff, and I want to say he's from California. I could be wrong, but I know a lot of people have been talking about him going to Ohio State a bit more than USC, which does suck, but they are training for a lot of really good offensive linemen as well. That Nick, Brook guy, Nick Brooks guy from the state of Iowa is a four-star, and then that local Rancho Santa Margarita player, that 6'8 offensive tackle that they recently offered a scholarship to, that fourth generational type of player. I forget how to say his name and stuff, but yeah, maybe that's why they're pivoting onto him, because maybe they feel like they're going to lose out on Lloyd coming up here today as you're watching this. So we'll see. Hopefully I have some good news to report on his <coughs> Lloyd's commitment in the near future in a near video, but we'll see. And speaking of this weekend yeah that 21st to the 23rd is that second big june weekend when it comes to recruiting for usc that i've been talking about for quite some time and they have a lot of very talented guys coming this weekend they have that five-star defensive lineman elijah griffin five-star defensive lineman justice terry who's already committed to usc the four-star edge from alabama jared smith Four-star edge, Marco Jones. Four-star defensive lineman, Trajan Odom. Three-star defensive lineman, Gus Cordova, who's already committed to USC. Three-star defensive lineman, Malachi Goodman. A four-star offensive tackle, Carde Smith. And I kind of thought he was actually a running back. I probably read that wrong when I was reading through all those guys that they had offered in that 2026 class. But either way, yeah, we'll see if there's just two players with the same name. But yeah, looking forward to seeing how many more official <coughs> commitments they get from this weekend because that first weekend was pretty good. But hoping for more when it comes to, when it comes to news out of this weekend coming up. And then yes, the NBA Finals did end tonight on Monday. Boston completing the gentleman sweep as they call it, four to one. And yeah, it does suck that Boston now leads the Lakers, but in overall championships, but I won't get into that, but I will show some love to the ex-USC Ford and Drew Peterson, who is on the bench for the Boston Celtics and got his first championship in his first rookie year. So that's a pretty good start for his career and hopefully he will get some more playing time. Hopefully not for them, because I think he's gonna be pretty good. So hopefully for some other team, because he did play well in the G League during the season. So yeah, hoping for some good things for him. And congrats to him, the ex-USC Trojan. Thanks for watching, people. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye, don't.